Hey everyone, we're back. We're playing Coromon. Uh, this is Torki. If you didn't see our last episode, which is also our first episode, um, you don't know who this is, but that's okay. You'll learn with us together. We just gave, um, we just gave Perrin the blacksmith. We gave him our gauntlet. He's gonna add a little module to it because oh, I, three, I should let my five stones. I should let my co-host talk. I just steamrolled right over you. Sorry, yeah. honey. Yeah. Uh huh. I was just saying he's gonna have to. Infinity stones put in. Oh, yeah, Torky's gonna snap her fingers and be like, Everyone dies now. <laughs> uh, the history section is my favorite. You can find some books which are even older than Velua itself. So, who wrote those? Okay, don't respond to me. I don't care <laughs> what your thoughts are. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk away. <laughs> right, pfft, boring. Don't care. There's, about a, you. there's a microscope. It's so. It's so tiny, but what is it? Okay. It looks like a microscope. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a microscope, you dummy. Uh, okay, who's this? It's Marin. Oh, that's Perrin's brothers. Marin and Perrin? Marin and Perrin. Uh, hello there. Oh, Jay told me to stop doing a British accent, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going <laughs> to do a normal. Oh, um, did you want something? Yes, Barry told me I could find books for beginning trainers here. Do you know where I could find them? Ah, uh, my brother Perrin. Huh. Huh. He doesn't understand the power of knowledge. He mocks me for reading all these books, says I should contribute to the town. Instead, he works on his anvil all day. Now, what does he do? In reality, the pen is mightier than the sword, right? Uh, I guess so. Ah, uh, uh -oh. fellow book lovers. Seems I misjudge you. Here, let me help you get some books. Uh, for battle researchers, you said, I know just the ones. Hmm, yes, this one. Okay. I guess he's going to... Guys, if you Why are there want... books all over the floor? Because he's fucking a horrible librarian. He's the worst librarian. It's like, ah, you think you should put your books on the bookshelf, you dummy? <laughs> um, no. But... But... Guys, if you wanted to tune in to us reading a book, oh my god, are you in luck? Because guess what we're going to be doing... We are uh, gonna be reading the training manual, the Koromon handbook, the potential uh, handbook, the stats handbook. Oh my god, so much to read, guys. This is gonna be the school here. This is gonna be the most thrilling, thrilling let's play on the yeah. internet. What is that a picture of a factory? What, what? am I looking at? Oh that there? Yeah, it looks like a picture of smokestacks in a factory. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's I'm a not... lovely picture to have. <laughs> <laughs> I would like a picture of heavy industry and pollution, please. <laughs> um, okay. Decorate the walls of the library. Yes. It represents history, a part of history. Yes. Decorate the... <laughs> <laughs> What's that there in the ground? This? Yeah. This is a treasure chest. And look, I open it and I get stinky scent. Oh, nice. She's, she seems so happy oh, I need to, to pick to up heal. a stinky scent. Oh, my scent. God. I got to heal my Coromon. They're all so dead. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> they're all KO'd. Look, knocked out, knocked out, poisoned. That's not good. Oh. That's, you know. You're starting off pretty good. I mean, it's your first day or two there, and you're like, oh, all my <laughs> Pokemon. All my oh. Coromon are dead. Ooh, don't say the P word. <laughs> Just P kidding. P P Pokemon. P Pokemon. <laughs> Torky, you're a trainer, right? Can I ask you for a small favor? Sure, what is it? Hey guys, if you think this Torky voice is annoying, you should watch The Dark Crystal because there's a character in the, <laughs> what is it, the Chamberlain? Who just like talks like that the entire time. Right. And they're like, do you think that voice is going to get annoying after a while? I don't know. They're like, eh, maybe, it's an hour and who half cares? <laughs> hour and a half movie and 13 episodes of a TV show and he still goes, <laughs> oh, <Chamberlain> like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think was that Frank Oz doing the voice? I think of the it was Frank Oz. I think yeah. I think it was. Cause it sounds a little like Miss Pig. Oh, you didn't even heal my Coromon. You just told me to do stuff. Oh my good. She's like, get the hell out of here. <clears throat> I want you to do me a favor first before I heal your Coromon. Look now. Remember, she healed. was asking. I wanna I wanna level up my bird. Uh, birdie birds. Wow wow wow. Switch. Wow, 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 um, okay, um, so one thing we do need to do, um, it's gonna be hard, oh, it's gonna be so hard, she wants us to kill all these beezles that are floating around, but they're all such a high level, <sighs> I feel like I need oh, to grind up, 
I need to grind my guys up. What is it? Why, why so early? There's high level the uh, Cormons. Yes, there's six Beezles hanging around Hayville. I'm oh, gonna take them all out. Why are they already such high levels? Well, they're not that they're high new, levels, man. but they're just higher than me because I'm not really spending much time grinding. Do I need to grind a little bit? I need to do some of that bump and grind. Bumping in the grind. Torky, there you are. I just finished your gauntlet. The essence collector is installed and ready to go. I'll take back that spare gauntlet first. I've installed Two. another module as well for you, the push module. Give it, consider it a gift from a friend. Here you go, your upgraded gauntlet. Sweet. Yay, Turkey! Let's kick some ass. I'm gonna push you around. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Please don't do that. The one I installed gives you the strength of a blacksmith. You'll be able to push anything out of your way, like a logs and uh, loose rocks. Blacksmiths Just... are strong. <laughs> of course they're strong. I am a fucking beast. Just push the secondary action button to activate your currently selected module. You can hold down the same button to select a different module. Now, why don't you go push module in my backyard? There's some logs which can use some pushing around. Oh, and perhaps you can drop in with my neighbor Noah. I heard he's got some trouble with a project of his. Something about a teleporter. Hey, so I'll go try out the push module and I'll check in with Noah as well. Right, see ya. Did I just spell that out clearly enough what you need to do? Okay? Yeah. You, you think you got it? That's uh, a do long I need note. to talk slower for ya, dummy? <laughs> um, okay, <clears throat> so the push module, we can push the logs, watch. ba 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 boosh okay. Boom! ba 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 boom ba 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 boom That's useful. Yay, I got a plane spinner! Okay, so like now... Like a fidget spinner? Uh, yeah, so she can stop having so much anxiety. Uh, okay, so we gotta fight a Beezel. Look, I got a type manual now somewhere here. So Beezels are, I believe, normal type. So if you look at your type manual and you're like, what's well, strong against normal? Um, yeah, what is normal? Uh, normal neutral? is this one, neutral. So poison. <laughs> so we gotta have a toxic type. Do I have a toxic type? I don't, unless this aren't, you see those toxic moves? Or does anyone have any toxic moves? No, no, no. You guys are useless, 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 <laughs> useless, useless. <sighs> Fine. Okay, go X Fat. At least you're my strongest one. Well, we'll try wah 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 wah. Wah wah wah. Do some be... wowing. No, we're not gonna fight yet. I'm gonna level up first. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna fight some Such wild a ones. Cheese. No, because I'm not. I'm not strong enough. I'm not gonna... ready. Oh, oh teddy, teddy bear. bear. Do you want me to raid his nightstand or his, <laughs> his nightstand? <laughs> Karen, my sister, I found out it was you who filed the complaint about my spinners having a fatal flaw. I know we've had our differences in shot. I know I just changed his voice, but then I like to talk this through it. See, it's like the rest of his letters scratched off. Hmm. Interesting. Karen, Some family Karen drama there. Yeah. Wow, you just who, got who, yourself involved. Who's their dad? Baron? <laughs> oh, oh God. Thanks for, thanks for not oh, laughing at that. That was, God. I mean... I know you didn't laugh at that, but I understand. Is this Noah? It's Samuel. Mark Paul, very smart man. He's building some fancy <laughs> in our basement. Okay. Oh, there he is. There is Noah. Oh, you could do the voice of Noah. Noah. Okay. Sound exactly like Noah Wiley? Is that name from ER? The librarian? Is the Noah librarian. Wiley? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, my delivery. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, what delivery? Oh, I thought you were someone for a moment. Sorry about that. My name is Noah. I'm working on a teleporter that'll connect Hayville to the fast travel network of Velua. I'm still waiting for the last few parts I need to complete the teleporter. I had ordered them from the Lux Solis campus a while back. The package should have arrived by now. I'll go get it. Oh, perhaps you're willing to help. Could you find out what's, ha what's keeping my package? What sure, am I, fucking UPS? <laughs> Whatever, I'll do it. I don't know. I know this is a video game. I know what I need to do. I understand fetch quest. Okay, let's go. Let's go back and let's go. Um, let's do that because that'll give me a chance to level up while I'm on the route here. And and oh look, you want me to talk to this, the the scarecrow? Look what he says when I talk to him. <laughs> really? This guy should get a ward. He's outstanding in his field. You get it? He's outstanding in this field. Do you get it? 
I say it slower. He's out. Space yeah, that was pretty standing okay. And, okay. Outstanding. Oh, look, it's a muffle. I think I already have one of these, yeah? Oh, no. he's got his nails painted red. So oh, sexy. So pretty. I was about to say pretty. Should I get a muffle? Sure. He, he throws looks sand like a weasel balls. or something. Yeah, he can kind of dig in the ground. I guess he's like a gopher weasel. He's, he's in the ground, and then his tail sticking out the bag or something. Yeah, it's kind of like a like a diglet. You remember diglet, where you would always just see them in the ground. Yeah. Okay. And then everyone's like, "What do they actually look like?" But they were like little mole. Oh, he's almost dead. There's, they were like these weird hill things. Yeah, they were supposed to be like moles, but they had a really round head. <laughs> You're like, what does their body look like? They're just the tip of a penis. <laughs> uh, no, they're not. I don't even know what diglets are. That's another game. Let me slam you. I'm gonna body slam you. Boom. Should I throw my spinner now? Let's throw the spinner. Mm. Uh. Okay, so JD, are you ready? Are you ready for next weekend? I guess we should tell everyone what's happening next weekend. So we live in the great city of Denver. If you watch any, I feel like every episode we have to mention at least once that we live in Denver, right? Because I feel like we've definitely done that. We're like, yeah, we, we say it a this, lot. We love this place in Denver. We live this place. Well, next week and next weekend in Denver, this what you going in Denver whenever you're listening to this, is the Fan Expo, which is like the Denver Comic Con. So they have all these uh -huh. celebrities coming. We're gonna go shake hands with Elijah Wood. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't even pay for that. And we're gonna talk to Sean Astin and be like, yo, what's up, bro? And he's gonna be like, hey, how's it hanging, boys? And we'll be like, hey, this is a girl. This is JD. And he's like, oh, sorry, boys. Um, <laughs> 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 you know how Sean Astin always calls everyone boys. Um, I wanted to catch that Moffat, but I killed him by accident. Fucking anyway, Sam all four Wise Hobbits. Camps, you can't get that shit right. Yeah. Anyway, all yeah, all four of the Hobbits are gonna be at this fan expo, which is kind of cool. Um, Just kind of. And then Ming Na Wen, JD's gonna meet her and get her autograph. Did you end up getting the tickets for that? <laughs> no, or no, I didn't. Oh, you don't want a picture with Ming Na Wen. I mean, I don't know if I. She's should. from the from, she was from Boba Fett. Right, yeah, and Ages of Shield. Yeah. What was her character's name in Boba Fett? Finnick. Finnick. Uh, oh, it's a Mino. Oh, Mino, like mind catching this guy. Yeah, it's like a Mino Tor. Mino Tor. Get it? Mino. It just looks like a bull, really. No, well, <laughs> use your imagination. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll use my imagination. Uh -oh, it's got flames in his back. I know it's a fire type Coromon. Fire. That's cool. Well, it's too bad we can't like get dressed up because it's kind of expensive to do. Oh, costume. cosplay. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can if we just want to spend some serious cash. Uh, should I throw my spinner? I'm gonna throw my spinner. He's a he's a rare one. He's he's not that. He's an uncommon. Uh, spinners tend to catch normal type. That ain't gonna work. Just a regular spinner. Get in my spinner. So Getting you said it. there's like, kind of like, uh, special um, Coromons here too? Uh, yes, there are. Um, so there's three different levels. There's potent, um, more and more potent, and then super, no, there's common, there's standard, potent, and perfect. And perfect are like the Lumas, which is like the highest level you can get. Am I going to kill them? How strong are these attacks? This is 40, this is 40. I should put in someone weaker. I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna kill him by accident. Um, who's my weakest guy? Oh, Army. Army, you go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't wanna do so much damage that I accidentally kill him, because that's not gonna be cool. Can't catch him, yeah. Yeah, but I haven't, I haven't run into any of the non standard ones. Um, damn, he's whipping that tail he's at me. He's whipping that ass. Ripping. Kinky stuff going on. Oh, he likes it. He wants to he wants to strap me down and then Oh, okay. Now I definitely need to throw that spinner. Uh throw that spinner, catch me on Mino Mino Thor. Mino Mino. Mino Mino? Mino Mino. Anyway, so the the Supercon it's not called the Supercon here, it's called the Fan Expo Denver. Uh, it used to be called something else. Yeah. It was, it was Super a Con Denver, in Miami. Yeah, it was the Denver Comic Con, it was called. 
Oh, so here's the thing, by the way. If you go on this screen, you see where it says potential standard? That's like the weakest one. And then there's like okay. one level, two levels above that. Um, but yeah, he's pretty good. He's got strong, strong attack. Uh, and he's a fire type. And he's like the first fire type you can get. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a nickname. Um, I'm gonna name you... Um, what is the name you... Um, Tar. So be Minno Tar. Oh, like like a, like a Ford Taurus. <laughs> Taurus. Oh, okay, yeah, here. Well, we'll call him Ford Taurus. Let's see. No, not. Oops. Okay, I keep misspelling words. Ford. Taurus. Ford. Tur what? <laughs> what the hell? Ford Tor. Ford Tor. Ford Taurus. <laughs> For a uh, Ford Taurus. There you go. I thought it was Ford. Yeah. Are well, you afraid to put Ford? Yeah, because they're not going to pay us money. Yeah. Ford, you only get our endorsement if you pay me money <laughs> or send me yeah, sure. <laughs> send me a car in the mail. It can be any car. It could be like an old... Send you a car through mail? <laughs> through a mail, A toy yeah. car? <laughs> it has to be a good... It has to be a real car that moves on four wheels. I mean, toy cars move on four wheels. That's true. But I want... I don't want no, no, no baby toy car. I want me... A Ford Bronco. Send me a Ford Bronco, and then I'll rename, I'll rename our our Mino to be called Ford Bronco, which doesn't really make sense because he's not a Bronco. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow, she jumps really slow. Twerky, well, give her some breaks, man. She's like gonna hurt her knees if she jumps too fast. Uh, <laughs> whoa! I got into a battle. It's another Armado. Armado. Um, wow, 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 you're not, you're almost dead. Mm, oh, you're gonna have to do more damage than that. Oh, you're dead. Oh, no. Um, fast strike, take him out. Maybe you'll do a, a, a super kill. No. Nope. You did not do what I, I wanted you to do. I wanted you to do a super kill. <laughs> Are we gonna super kill you, so? No, I'm gonna take him out on this hit. Watch. He made a mistake, he should have killed me. Stupid, <laughs> untamed, untamed Koromon, you don't even know what you're doing. Like, bum, teach bum, me, bum, bum, bum. teach me, wise one. Um, so yeah, and then uh, and then we're going to be signing autographs at the Fan Expo. So if you're going to be at the Fan Expo in Denver, we're doing a Wooly Mammoth Gaming panel in room 326. So you just head on over there. Uh, it's not going to be listed on the, <laughs> on the actual schedule. But, you know, you guys will just know. Where's the guy? Um... I thought I was looking for the guy. Oh, where's the? Oh, where's the? I wanted the guy to have the teleport. What? Oh. Where's this? Where's this? Where's this? What? What are you talking about? I'm I'm talking I'm talking about this mission. I have to find the guy the teleport those things. I thought he was this way. Um, let me look at the logbook. Um, this package got lost. I should ask the shopkeeper. Oh, I have to go talk to the shopkeeper. That's why. I got I got to talk to the shopkeeper. Shop, the shopkeeper, you know, the guy that keeps the shop. But is it this like a lab? Why would there be kind of like a shopkeeper in a lab? Look, he's right there. He says, "Welcome. How can I help you?" I'm I, talking. I thought they were talking about going to the X uh, Solus or whatever Solus something Lux Solus. Uh, well, this is the Lux Solus campus. So there's like a bunch of stuff here. There's a shop. There's a lab. There's like a welcome center. Oh, okay. It's like a whole complex. Uh huh. Yeah, you got it. You know, you go to Harvard. There's shops at Harvard. They're like, oh, okay. We got we sell, <laughs> we sell Harvard Tata. textbooks. Like, yes. <laughs> um, you know, all that shit. Uh, okay. So now I talk to him. So now, oopsie. No, 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 no. Go out. Go out and, to, and find that, find the dude. He's probably stuck here somewhere. The uh, dude, Radiant Park. Yes. Do you like the horns at the beginning of the song? It's like, bah, 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 bah. Sounds almost like a procession type music. Yeah, it's trying to get you psyched. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me... This is a swarmy. I already have a swarmy. I don't need you. You can just die if you want. Shwarma? Shwarma. <laughs> you delicious shwarma. <laughs> by this bird. Those are good, right? Chicken. Shwarma. Uh, yeah. Well, you, you like... What's Lamb a shwarma, shwarma again? Is that like a, a wrap? 
No, it's like the meat cut in strips. Oh, they yeah. do it with chicken oh, no. or they do it with a lamb. Where they, they have it like on a, on, a, on a spike and it's like spinning around. No, there's a guy room. Oh. No, it's on a plate. They put it as a platter strips of chicken, really, really thin strips of chicken. Super thin. And it's either chicken or lamb. So today's episode sponsored by <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Johnson Shawarma Incorporated. If you want shawarma and you're tired Joe of Joe paying... Johnson? <laughs> you're... That's very uh, <laughs> Lebanese sounding name. <laughs> if you're tired of paying for big shawarma and you want shawarma delivered to your house, you just call Joe and he'll bring shawarma. <laughs> so it's like, silly. I was so tired of going to my local Lebanese restaurant and paying outrageous prices to big shawarma for what is really just a little bit of meat and then they're like i called joe and joe got me so much shawarma for such a little amount of money sounds like a commercial <laughs> for uh, an attorney <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you been hit by a car if you've been hit by a car don't go to the hospital call us <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix everything for you right yeah <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I got a crit hit, critical hit. Uh, well, I'm excited too because they had like one of the because we were looking at the schedule for the fan expo, and they had one um, in one of the conference rooms. They were having someone do like a D and D Dungeons and Dragons tutorial, mm -hmm. like getting started. So yeah, how to cool. start playing? I'm interested in that. I found out that it benefits writers to learn how to play. To yeah. Play, uh... So that yeah, that's gonna be cool. There's actually two two of them. There's like a basic one and then like a more advanced one. Oh, there's the postman. Oh, sorry, I startled you. I thought a wild Coralmon jumped me. <laughs> a Coralmon? They only jump you when you walk through the grass. And don't you have your own Coralmon to battle them? Yes, I do, but I forgot to bring the healing cakes for them and now my entire squad fainted. I can't go through the grass anymore. I'm trapped here. Jeez. Now I'll never be able to deliver this package. Wow. Oh, yeah. I can help you. Do you need the baggage for Noah? Yes, but I'll never get through the Corban or fainted. Oh, I'm so stupid. Ah, you are really stupid. I can <laughs> escort you through the grass of the training hub in Hayville. Really? Would you do that for me? Thank you so much. Okay, lead the way. Um, oh, he went inside your body. What is he, a ghost? Oh, that feels so good. Oh, yeah, just rub a little bit right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm inside you. Oh, yeah, you are. Mm, Torky likey. <laughs> Torky wants you. Torky likey. Torky. Give it to Torky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give that Torky a little bit of cider like this. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I hit him three times. I uh, like his okay. tail. It's like all the, the, on fire, like the t tip end of it. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> cool. It's a, he's, a, he's got like, I like that the fire is not like totally all consuming him. He's just got, yeah. I mean, should I catch this patter bit? It only has, well, whatever. I don't need him. I already have a patter bit. I don't need you. You can die. I don't care. You know, you got your cool Tron sunglasses. I don't <laughs> need you. Oh, look, my fur turret scooter, level six. Furred Taurus. <laughs> Go get your Furred Taurus Furred. right here at Furred Dealerships Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> you could drive off your lot in a brand new Furred. Furred is for you. <laughs> drive a Furred. Drive a Furred or go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, if you're listening at Ford, we just gave you the best tagline slogan. Uh, what are those things? I guess they are called slogans, right? What do they call it when the advertisements? Yeah, you know, I guess like, it's like a slogan. Yeah. A slogan. <laughs> Drive a Ford or go to hell. <laughs> Drive a Ford or get furked. <laughs> Drive a Ford or get furked. <laughs> like, did he swear in that commercial? I don't know. <laughs> Can't but it's quite catchy. Tell. <laughs> you know the number. 1-800. Go, go, go. Drive a Ford or get furked. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're enjoying that too much. <laughs> Did you have okay, so you grew up in Miami. Oh good. We made it. Thank you so much. You're welcome, but what about the package? Uh yes. Well I'm quite behind schedule now. Perhaps you can deliver this package to Noah for me. That way I can catch up on my other deliveries. I can do that. 
Great, here's the package. Okay. Are we going to get compensated for this shit? Huh, what's this in my... <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I want a tip. Huh, what's this in my pocket? A Lux Recall? I've had this with me the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, would you just look at the time? Time to go. Thanks again. He's an idiot. <clears throat> okay, then. That was fun. Uh, okay, so let me deliver that package. Uh, yeah, so I know in Miami, did they have like any of the famous like local commercials? Like, you know how, wow, well, no, I'm talking like this guy. Um, you know how like you would have like the local car dealerships would be like some guy would come out dressed as a gorilla and be like, oh, I can't believe these <laughs> savings or something yeah, like that. Yeah, sure. Did they have any like big ones from Miami? Yeah, they had the, some big ones. What was for it the like flea a... market or whatever. The, um, was it the, not the... The swap market. What is it called? The, the swap shop? Swap shop. They do commercials? Yeah, they did commercials. They oh, did that commercials. fruits the plant. Uh, okay, is this we, the... Yeah, we had silly car co local car commercials. And yeah, we had the swap shop commercials. Was it like... Was it like... Hey! Some of them this... had jingles and stuff like that. <laughs> this car is almost as good as a Medea Noche sandwich at... At um, Ver Versailles, Ver what's the name of the, the restaurant? Versailles? Is that no? Is, what is the name? Oh, oh, La Careta. That was it. Well, there was the Versailles too. There was the Versailles. Yeah. So there was Versailles and La Careta, <laughs> two famous Cuban restaurants. Uh, if you go to Little Havana, mm -hmm. you can. Calle Ocho. Calle Ocho, yeah. Well, you know, you they can... say Toyota, Toyota. 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 Ona Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so we got the teleporter fixed, by the way. By the by. That's what this guy's talking on and on. So now we can teleport, which is a cool thing. So uh, where are you going to go yes. to first? Uh, well, we can only go places we've already been. We're gonna so... Go to the bank and steal their money. <laughs> 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 was it like that movie we were talking about earlier today, Jumper? Oh yeah, Jumper. <laughs> I used to be a jumper. That was a cool thing. To tell. <laughs> no, I've never seen that movie. <laughs> Did they, okay, did, in that movie, Jumper, I hope the answer to this question is yes, although I fear it may be no. Okay. Did they have the song from Third Eye Blind called Jumper? And one is like, step out from that ledge, my friend, I don't understand. I honestly don't remember. I don't think so. What? It's been like a good many years since I've seen that movie. I've only seen it once. It's been a good many years since I've seen that movie. I've only seen it once. That's Bare Naked Jesus. Ladies. Did they have that song? That's no, that's all you. <laughs> it's been six days since you talked to me. Seven days since I took a shit. I Ouch. need to go to a doctor, please. <laughs> yeah, I need Take to me go. now. You really need to go bad. <laughs> My stomach hurts. <laughs> I think I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach's going to explode full of oh shit. Oh my God. What's the longest? Oh, I got a pomo fruit. Cool. What's what does a pomo, pomo fruit? fruit do? Oh, so the fruit's similar to po -po Pokemon. Looks like a Yoshi egg or something. It does look like a Yoshi egg. Similar to po -po Pokemon, you could give your Coromon fruits to hold and they'll use them automatically during the battle. Oh, it's for battle? Yeah. Um, to throw fruit like pies? But I never finished asking my question. What's the longest you've gone without taking a shit? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody Answer wants to know that question. Answer honestly to the entire internet. <laughs> everybody wants to know that question. It's, yeah. it's the question of the day. Uh, yeah. I mean, probably a day, I guess. I don't know. Oh, wow. That's a long time. I should give this I guess it depends. I mean, as a kid, probably much longer because I used to have issues. I, I, I once went like 14 days without taking a shit. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Let us not disturb this so. lettuce. <laughs> okay, what's wrong with it? Uh, I want what's in that box, but it's being guarded by a coral man. Um, I don't have anyone who's got toxic moves. Mm, someone learn some toxic moves, please. Nick will learn it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know who can learn what. Do I, mm. You need your handbook. Yum. 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 Yam. Do I have a no? Okay, I think I can take him though, because he's level eight. I've got what two level sixes and a level seven. He's gonna wipe out half my team, but I think I can take him. I think okay. I can do it. Basil, basil. I heard that. He's the only one that says his name basil, out loud. Basil. Her really? Taurus makes like a whimpering noise. 
It sounds like our dog sometimes. When we, <laughs> <laughs> whenever we get home from like a, lo a long day of work or we're gone for a while, he gets so excited. He's like, <laughs> when we get, <laughs> he <laughs> does whimper with joy. Yeah, like when we get home and he's like, you guys are back. He's like, yay, I'm so happy now. My life um, is better. Uh, let's Cute lower pose. Oh, oh, let's see that pose. Let's see it. But of course, they don't actually animate them doing anything. But look, he got little hearts in his eyes. They do. They use a lot of emojis in this one. Yeah. I guess is a good thing, right? I guess well, it's it, different. If you're like, I'm, I saw the Ouch. emoji movie, and I did, could not get enough from the emoji movie. I wanted more emojis in my life. Then guess what? You guys can play Coromon, and you can get it. Did you see the emoji movie? No. It is, I heard I, it's terrible. I believe it was one of the worst <laughs> movies of 2020 or 2019. Uh, yeah. I believe Patrick was Stewart was in that movie. Really? I think so. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. What was he thinking? Uh, he I goes. He, was... for, it's a, it's a, he goes from that movie to like what we got here, Doctor Strange too. Oh yeah, he played <laughs> Professor Xavier. Um, oh, I want to level up my wah 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 wah. Um, but no, uh, I think what Patrick Stewart was thinking was like, hey, are you guys going to pay me money to do this? And they said, yes, we will, Patrick Stewart. And he's like, okay. Isn't I'm, a, that the case I'm an actor and this is my job. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm going to do it. I'm an actor. This is my job. This is what I do. I mean, they could say yes or no, really. I know. I know there's some actors that for sure have turned down roles even when they've been offered because they're like, yeah. that's not going to work. It's, I don't think it's going to work out or be very good. And then there's other, other actors. They're like, are you going to pay me to do this? Then yes, I shall do it. I'll um, do anything now because I s wasted my money opening dumbass restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about someone specific? <laughs> or like coming up with uh, tequilas or something or whiskey. I feel you're talking about someone very specific. No, there's a lot of people like that. Well, Ryan Reynolds actors. has his own gin. Yeah, there's a lot of actors that open up restaurants. Like all of a sudden they know how to fucking be a restaurateur or uh, they have tequila brand or whiskey brand or... yeah well you know they're just trying to make this world a better place one whiskey at a time <laughs> <laughs> give like, us more of what we don't need we need more <laughs> we need more i've been to a liquor store there's only 500 different brands of whiskey we need more <laughs> 505 <laughs> let's yeah. break the record <laughs> 50 Cent needs his own whiskey brand because <laughs> how am I going to know a whiskey to buy? Yeah, because uh, I just recently found out that Dwayne Johnson's got his own, what was it, tequila? Oh, tequila? I've seen his... It's tequila. It's called Mana. And he's oh, got a Mana mobile, like a food truck, but it's not actually food. It's, it's whiskey. It's it's the tequila. Whis oh, tequila. Sorry, not whiskey. Tequila. It's the tequila with like ba -ba, tapas ba -ba, or something, ba -ba, like little ba -ba. foods. Oh, that's cool. them. Yeah, it was supposed to roll over here. I don't know if it already came by. It would be cool if, um, like, you went to a food truck and you just saw like Dwayne the Rock Johnson just like handing out the food at the food truck, and you're like, oh, that's well, cool. Well, when I read about it, they said in big bold letters, Dwayne Johnson is not going to be here. <laughs> don't get your hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> We're so, going to set no, expectations right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was like in big bold letters. He is not going to be in the. Food drug. He does not want to meet you. He does not want to talk to you. Uh, okay, so what should I do with my jack of all trades? I guess I'll give him, um, you know what, his special attack is low. He needs to increase that in his special defense. I believe the ones you get the starter, Koromon, are always potent. Let's see. So you remember I was talking about the different different levels of the Koromon, like some uh -huh. are stronger than others. I believe yep. Goofy... Foofy, foofy, uh, foofy. Yeah. Oh no, he's standard. Oh, so I guess no. I don't have any potent ones. Oh, I just have well, standard, you need to get standard, there, standard, George. standard. God, it's such a standard team. Ugh, I you hate got you guys. ninety episodes to go to get there. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do <laughs> We're it. Be like our Temtem. Oh my God, this is gonna make Temtem seem like a brief series. Um, we are gonna play hundreds, if not thousands, of episodes of. <laughs> How many episodes can you get out of this game? You think? Uh, I believe they said it's about thirty hours long, but we're I'm like oh, I'm wow. really taking my time here because I have not even moved from the city. Is I, this? I guess we should move it along. We'll come back and, and kill these beasles. Is this a beta or? No, or is this a full game. No, here? it's a full game. Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> it's not early access. I don't think. Uh, oh, this Bezos blocking. Mm, okay, I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna go. <laughs> You're not doing your job. 
There's so many beasles, and I'm just not strong enough to fight them all. Oh, that person's happy. Wow, thank you so much for that. Now the road is finally clear again. Why does everybody sound like back a farmer? To Cause hey Bill, for some reason the tree cut in practice. See yo. Because this is hey Bill, man. That's why everyone talks here, man. <laughs> Get her done. Everyone enjoys oh, Larry geez. the Cable Guy. They're like Oh, I like that Larry the Cable guy. He tells me how to get her done. <laughs> <laughs> he I used to think he details. Was, <laughs> how to I get used to her think done. he was pretty funny, Larry the Cable guy. I know some people are like, "Ooh, that's not comedy eh, or whatever." It's okay. Um, he does a lot of fart jokes, which I really appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> Good old fart jokes. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with fart jokes. It was kind of like we were watching that thing about. Um, about um, George Carlin and John Stewart was saying he's like the one thing I appreciate about George Carlin that he would always despite talking about very, you know social issues and big political issues uh -huh. he always threw in some fart jokes and butt jokes <laughs> and I, I have heard like some of George Carlin's fart jokes and they're 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 I would call them high quality fart jokes. And was it like his curse words? Oh, the seven dirty words, seven words you can't say on television or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> those are funny. Which was interesting is they said that he started out on like Johnny Carson just doing like kind of the comedy like the Steve Martin-esque comedy of the time. Not to say that that was bad or anything because I, you know, I think Steve Martin's hilarious too. But he wasn't very like um, political or social. He didn't do a lot of these like political or social oh, he jokes. that stuff? For a long time. And then at one point he's like, fuck it. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm not going to just sit here and talk about people's ties or whatever. I want to make actual jokes that, you know, actual about like social issues and things going on in the world. Uh, and that was a cool thing. Yeah, his religion was pretty funny. Yeah, he's like, why does religion always need money? They always want your money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, like, I, don't, oh, I don't that's so much funny as it is just like pointing out uh, stuff. Um, okay. Oh, I put, yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do an, a frostbite. Frost chomp. They should have called that frostbite. That would have made way more sense than frost chomp. If I. Oh my god, Coromon. What are you doing? Oh, wow, that didn't Well, because do any frostbite's damage. a real thing. Maybe. See, because his name is Cub Zero, not Sub Zero. Maybe they didn't want to trigger people who have actually died from frostbite. Like, have cousins that died from frostbite, and they're like, mm, we better stay okay, away from that. It just happened to be cousins. <laughs> cousins. <laughs> My cousin died from frostbite. And you named your move frostbite. How <laughs> dare you, Koromon? One star. You suck. <laughs> Ooh, that was a trigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, why are you so strong, Armando? He's a seven. God. I hate Did you. Did you notice? <laughs> I'm gonna slam you. Oh, damn. I'm slamming you Body damn. slam. Crit hit chance increase. No, you don't need that. Oh no, slam. Body slam. No. Ow, 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 I'm hurting, I'm hurting. Master, help me, please. It sounded like Jerry Lewis, <laughs> the, <laughs> you know, about the nutty professor. <laughs> and the only reason I know that that's what Jerry Lewis sounds like is because the Simpsons, do you know the Professor Frank? <laughs> he's like, why even, why even, why even? Oh yeah, he's that's like a, a He's supposed to be Jerry Lewis. <laughs> I've seen clips of his stuff in the past. Jerry yeah. Lewis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never seen the movie. Oh, and you're such a TCM fan. You're like, I Jeez, love that's TCM. Been a while. And we don't have it. And now we have HBO Max and you never watch TCM. Yeah, there is TCM. On, well, I've, um, it's been a couple months, but yeah, I start, I was watching a movie or two on there. Ooh, my bird grew to level nine. Oh my God, my bird is getting so strong. It can snatch coins now. <gasps> oh my God, my extreme fatness is going to level six. <laughs> X fat. I've grown to a much new stronger. level. Oh my gosh, take that expat to the next level. <laughs> uh, I need to go heal because my Karmon are already all dead. <gasps> oh my god, Karmon get stronger. My bird is at level 9, so now I can take out these beezles. So the, that bird is level higher than Cub Zero? Mm-hmm. Because your Cub Zero is the first... Yeah, but I haven't been fighting with him as much. You think I should put him in more Cub Zero? Probably should. I don't, but I'm just saying because that happened to me too. Because I got my Hoot Chick and that was like the very first. Oh. And I didn't use it 
use her as much as I use my Saku mm, yeah. for some reason. This is Temtem Talk, guys. If you tune in for Temtem Talk, <laughs> by the way, I feel like we should mention that every episode. We have 100 episodes of Temtem. So if you. It just says 92. It's 92, but it feels like 100 when you watch it. It felt like 1,000 because <laughs> by the end of it, I was like, oh. Yeah, man, you'll enough. feel by by the end, you'll be like, oh my God, what was that? I was, was so that? happy when yeah. it ended. I was like, okay. Um, it's getting repetitious. Can I push this thing? Oh no, I can't push, push. it to the well. <laughs> push Jeez, it. It's precious. going down there. <laughs> buzz, no, buzz. he turned to you like. He's like, how dare you? Ooh, I bought some stuff on the Switch sale because they're having a Nintendo oh, eShop really? sale. Oh, really? Somebody went mm, shopping. So we should play some games. I'm, I'm testing some of them out. Um, and there are definitely some that we should we should play. So what did you get? Uh, so I got one called Eastward that looked really cool. Eastward? It looked like a retro style RPG, but also had a lot of newer elements okay, in it. It looked cool. really cool. Um, I got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, which is um, okay. a remake of one of the best um, uh -huh. Star, Wars Star Wars games, games of all time. Um, and I got Deadly Premonition 2, which is a sequel to Deadly Premonition, which I played a little bit of it. I think you were watching me play it. It yeah, is a that? weird freaking game. It's weird. We started, you start like there's like these twins sitting in the chairs in the middle of the forest. And then there's like a TV on. It's like very Twin Peaks-esque. Oh, okay. um, I think they that were, sounds really And there was like creepy. a naked woman dead tied to a tree at the very beginning. You have to solve her murder. And the guy's like oh, talking yeah. to himself in the car. You remember he crashes the car and he's like talking to himself or yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, I saw you there. playing that. Okay. So I, well, Wawa is almost dead. We Isn't that me. like a True <clears throat> Detective series? Um, Wasn't that the first season of True Detective like that? Where they found this woman tied up to a tree. Yeah, there was like a ritualistic way. murder. True Detective. I think it was True Detective. Is, yeah. You seen it? The first season? I saw... I don't think I finished it. But yeah, I had started watching it. Because it was on... What was it on? It was on HBO. Oh, it was part of HBO. The I home could probably, I should broad finish it. box office. The, the box office that you can have inside your home. You know? Uh, but yeah, yeah okay. it was a <laughs> <laughs> great explanation. Was it a Roku box? <laughs> no, it's a box office. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was one of those interesting shows. In that, um, ooh, my boobsie is getting boobsie, boobsie's this. perky now. Oh, it's getting yeah. perkier. Yay. He awakened some of his potential. Ooh, let's give you some more attacks and more speed. Well, I saw that Steam's thing. having their summer sale too. Are you gonna? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't buy anything on Steam though. I have, uh -huh. I have too many PC games I still need to get through. Um, I'm pretty sure you got a wish list. Uh, yeah, but you know. I you saw the email I sent recently? Which one? The Steam sales email. They sent you one too? They sent me one. Oh, yeah. Well, anything you put in your wish list, they're like, hey, time to buy those games. They're on sale. No, they were saying on the, the email they sent me was like a. This is the top five to get or something. Oh, really? No, I didn't get that one. What? I just got like, these you are the games in your one? wish list that are on I'm sale. I'm going to send it to you right now. Oh, you don't need to, baby. It's okay. You I mean, sure? I guess if you really, really want to. Yeah. If you really, really want. I tell me what you it. want. I what you really, it. really want. I'll tell you what I you want. What I really, you really want. want to see it. I really, really, really want to suck your dick. <laughs> if you want to be my lover. <laughs> you gotta suck, you suck that so dick. You are so sick. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you, dirty oh, beast. Oh, oh, similar to Pokemon, you can here. plant your seed, your fruits in here, and you can plant grow your more seeds. <laughs> you could sow your wild oats. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna forward I bought to from you. the I bought from the Geo. So there's another site that I use more often than well, I guess I use Steam more often. So there's there's Epic Games, there's Steam, and there's GOG. I usually try to buy from GOG first because they're like a little smaller than Steam. Um, you should do a, a, a video like you did an Epic Games free games video thing, remember? Yeah. That you got like a million I, views for or something? I got <laughs> a billion views. A when million. you broke the internet with your video that was so <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Past uh, the views of El Pasito. El Pasito. <laughs> Despacito. Despacito. El pasito, 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 sabe, 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 poquito, poquito, jame, no, jame, jito, mi po, mi po, mi po, mi po, mi po, mi po, meatballs. <laughs> Guys, today's episode is sponsored by Hormel Meatballs. If it's meatballs, gotta be fucking Hormel. Such a weirdo. 
Do they know. even make meatballs? <laughs> I don't know. I think so. All right, who <laughs> makes meatballs? I know IKEA makes meatballs, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even that good. What? After shut your like mouth. A... They're so Excuse fucking me, good. Excuse <laughs> me, you tell me to shut my mouth? <laughs> IKEA meatballs you are, are fucking you amazing. You are in trouble because you only got 15 <laughs> seconds. It wasn't just 15 apologize. seconds are done <laughs> in this video i'm gonna kick your ass off screen hey you guys heard that so when this goes to court and they're like who murdered the street the youtuber george it's gonna be like a confession right here from from this person <laughs> From this person that you're not naming, so I'm not know naming. Who it is. I don't want to indict you. I don't. <laughs> even if you kill me, I don't want you to go to jail because it's not going to be nice. You don't want to go to jail. But I killed you. <laughs> what? There's got to be some punishment. Man. No, but you're really not like it in jail. They're gonna. They're gonna. You have to wear the same thing all Nobody the time. Nobody should like. No one's gonna jail. talk to you. This is, it's not gonna be fun. Nobody's gonna talk to you. <laughs> that's the. That's the worst of it. Nobody's gonna talk to me. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>